everybody, it's Caden, and I'm here today with my mom, Janelle. So we just, we kind of like, my mom kind of experienced secondhand, like, um, like, got to live in my shoes for a second, so, um, I think this is like the perfect time to do the Q&A, so, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so just a little background, uh, I like ran away when I was 14 so my mom didn't see me between like the ages of 14 to 18 and that's when I started transitioning was when I was 14 so yeah so um, my first question is how did you find out I was trans <laughs> because I didn't tell you um your YouTube videos and what was your reaction uh kind of didn't want to deal with it I guess I kind of, I just kind of wanted my daughter to stay my daughter, I guess. So kind of was really hard for me. But yeah. But when you finally changed your name and you were like, this is what I'm doing and I'm sticking to it, then that's when I knew that I had to accept it. And that's when I started to accept it. Do you think you ever, like, really had a daughter, though? Because I wasn't really, like, you had to really force me to be. And then you interrupted the video. Thank you, Dominic. <laughs> Do you feel like you ever really had a daughter, though? Because I was no, never because really like, you kind of forced. It wasn't, like, I personally, like, did that because, like, my sisters would tell me to do that. Like, to force you to wear makeup, to force you to never cut your hair. So, I think that... I um, listened to other people when I should have been my own person and let you do basically what you wanted to do. So, yeah. Okay, so since, you know, like, I didn't tell you and you didn't know and it was just, like, YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. I mean, you did see my transition in a way, but it wasn't, you know, like, face-to-face. -face. So when we finally saw each other when I was 18, what was your reaction when we had finally seen each other face-to-face? -face? I was happy to see you and... It didn't really matter to me right then. Were you kind of? Because I knew. Were you kind of like mm -hmm. shocked, or were you just like, "Oh, you see no. the video, so you're like." Yeah, so you I had already, yeah. Okay. Did you ever expect it, like when I was younger or anything, like were there? Yeah, like, I, I had already, I knew, I had already knew before, like you were in middle school, because you know I had already knew that, but I thought you were like a lesbian. I didn't know that you were trans. And then, okay, so then you started wanting to dress like a boy and be like like a tomboy. So then I had already knew. I had, I had already knew, but I had my like, oh, maybe not, you know? I was pretty much like dressed like a boy since mm -hmm. I was little, though, until, yeah. until middle school. So. Did I ever, I don't remember, I don't remember like specifically me personally like growing up you know, at the roof and, like, wishing to be a boy, wishing to be normal, or, like, you know, even, even as a girl to be, you know, for my brain to fit that, or, you know, to be a boy, so, but I don't ever remember saying it out loud to anybody else, so do you remember me doing anything like that, that, like, sort of was, like, whoa, that's... Well, kind of, sort of, because when we watched Wish Upon a Star, you would always say, like, I wish I was someone else, but you never, like, really said, like, I wish I was a boy or I wish I was a male. You just said that and that was it. So I guess that's what you were kind of hinting towards, but you never really said your secret. You kept it. I don't even, I don't even remember so, that, yeah. so yeah. Think, do you think if there is, is there a difference between who I was then and who I am now? If there really is? Um, I think when you were younger, you were a lot to yourself and you seem like a different person when you would leave to your dad's and when you would be at our house you were really different and to my um, grandma's not my dad's yeah your grandma's and so um you could see like a little bit of a difference and then finally when you transitioned it was like you were like free like you're more like yourself before you weren't yourself I'm a little bit more like open yeah a better person kind of <laughs> but I mean I mean I'm the same person it's just I'm more like I think I changed it more of like a um what do you call it a better way 
yeah, like I'm not, I'm not, I'm a little bit more assertive. I'm not as shy. I'm not, yeah. you know, I'm talkative more. So I'm getting better, like all that stuff, communicating and stuff. Before I was very quiet and shy and, mm-hmm. and introvert, and I still am, but I'm growing out of that kind of. Um, what are the changes you? Because I've been on hormones for like three years, and we've. That's like when we started our relationship back up is when I started hormones. So what have you noticed the changes? What kind of changes did you notice? I, even in my videos or whatever, just... Like... Physical or emotional? Yeah, like emotional. Like, like anything. I just noticed all the changes. Like, I'm like, my son's still handsome. <laughs> and like... You have hair now and stuff, and your voice is deeper, and I don't know, but you're still a gentleman. So yeah. No, like, did you have any trans knowledge? Like, and were you like, didn't know anything about transgender stuff before? Mm-mm. Not really, because, but I don't know. Like, back in our days when we were growing up, my sister was like trans, but. Right? Because she was born a female, but she wants to be a male. And she used to tell me all the time that if she had the money, she would do it all. And um, she always said that she always thought she looked like a boy. So that's what she wants to be is a boy. So kind of, sort of. And I guess that's why when you, when I found out you were, I just couldn't deal with it because when I was when we were all young back in our days people didn't like none of that they didn't even like people to be gay or lesbians or any of that stuff so it was really hard and I used to hear all kinds of rude comments to my sister when we were in middle school and high school and I always have to had to defend her and stuff and I would hit all these guys or whoever was talking crap so it was really hard for me to see what my sister had to deal with and then for you to say, you know, you wanted to be trans. So I think that was my hardest um, hardest thing to comprehend you wanting to be because this world and these people are really rude and they're heartless. So I just didn't want you to have to go through what my sister had to go through and what I had to go through as well. So, yeah explaining to him like I know how your mom feels like and what she goes through because that's how I felt but it's like I know that I'll never get that person back and I don't even think about it anymore because it's like whatever you know <laughs> how and all that how has my transition like changed or affected anything our relationship I don't know I think it's been it's been better than before because it was like we were fighting a lot because I guess you always wanted to be the male but you you know what I'm saying so I think we always like you probably like hated me or like didn't like me because uh yeah because you were like you were fighting with your own body you know what I'm saying Mm -hmm. and I think now that you're able to be like hey yeah this is me now so I think it's, you're not like, you don't have those feelings now. So it's, it's a much better relationship. So yeah. So yeah. So now since, you know, we've sort of like experienced something together, which we can talk at the end of this, but what is, um, how is it, especially now that I'm like, you know, three years on team, post-transition and everything, and I pass pretty well, you know, I do look pretty masculine. How, how does it feel when, because you do see me as your son and everything, so how does it feel when other people misgender me? I get mad. I do. I get really mad and I'm like, excuse me, but it's, you know, it's like Damien, it's he, and I get really upset. It's not fun, but yeah. So on that same note, um, a little foot brothers over there. Anyway, um, so on that same note, what is, how does it feel when people out me? Like instead of just like misgendering me, what is it like when they out me? And since you have now like experienced that second hand, 
oh, I really get really pissed off and I almost have to kill someone the other day. So yeah, I get really hurt and it like hurts my heart really bad. So same, same, pretty much same path. Uh, have you received any like negativity about it or have you like experienced anything negative because of my transition? Mm, not really. Like everybody's like, I don't care, I don't care. The most difficult part of my transition. The most difficult part? No. I think like for you, me or for you? Both. I think for you is dating girls because they're ignorant, but yeah. And for me, negative is, um, I want you to be, I don't know, like, more affectionate, I guess, but you're not that affectionate because of me. I've, I've never been affectionate, I so. I like hugs. <laughs> What and else? I like to kiss sometimes. What else? You're like, I've, eh, never just I've, never, I've never really been kind of actually but anyway, so something else. I don't know. So, um, like how? I don't know, like what's difficult because you like is it difficult watching me, you know, change physically, emotionally? Is it difficult watching me you know, especially now that you deal with it second hand, like seeing me get har harassed, you know, or like uh, out in this gender stuff like that is that is that difficult for you? Is the change is difficult. Yes, that's difficult for me because, like I said, I get mad. Like it's like these are my kids. Like you don't mess with them, or you're gonna get a couple of fists in your face, <laughs> and you're gonna be really hurt really bad because I'm gonna hurt you. So yeah, I think that's the part where I'm like, like shut up get over it already like who cares like it shouldn't have even got even brought up at all like people are s ignorant because of just one jealousy thing so i don't know i get really upset about that so that's like the hardest for me because i'm like hey that's those are my kids like you don't mess with it because mama bear's coming out <laughs> but yeah Okay, now that like you've experienced a lot of this stuff and like, you know, gone through it with me, kind of, like not with me, but you know what I mean, um, <laughs> what's something, what's something or is it like a variety of things that is like really shocking to you, like the, like, um, is it shocking like the changes, the, the, how expensive everything is, the surgeries, like the intensity of this all, like what, has anything really like shocked you about this or like surprised you or like, just like how you guys have to go through so much and why you guys have to be like a lot of you guys can't sleep because you guys got insomnia you guys are always thinking you guys are always like you guys always want to just be normal but that'll I don't ever know if it'll ever be normal and everybody will just shut up and just drop it and move on with life or you guys will always have to deal with all this problem so that's the difficult thing but everything else seems like okay like surgeries are all expensive even like if you want a tummy tuck that's expensive too so that is nothing but all the stuff that you guys have to carry on on a daily basis is hard because you just guys you guys just want to be like where you guys wake up one day and everybody's just like whatever and nothing matters, no one cares, but it's not like that still, so that's the hardest thing to do. Especially like the past, like people yeah. are always going to come back to the past, yeah. so, and you can't run from that. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so like final thing, what's some advice you can give to the parents and then also the trans people? Um, for parents, I think that if your kids come up to you and tell you that they're trans or whatever, I think that you should just be willing to be open and accept it because this is really what they've always have thought and have wanted to do since they were young and it's not worth <coughs> losing your child for years and not talking to your kids for a while. So, and, and for the trans people, the trans people, just keep your head up and be strong and just keep moving forward and don't um, don't go back and 
be positive because everything will work out even if you have to deal with all this stuff because you will and it will be hard but in the end it, it'll all work out so yeah okay. and you uh, my advice for the parents um just be supportive just be there just you know um i think you know as long as you just love your child that's pretty much it it's just love and for the trans people you know like you can do it um don't don't give up it's hard and things get rocky and you know it's okay to not know where you're going what you're doing but just know that you can do it and um if if you ever feel like you can't find somebody who helps you you know find somebody who can be a rock because this is hard and yeah yeah, and don't ever want to commit suicide because it's not worth it. And no matter what, everybody will love you at the, in the end and just stay strong because it's not worth it even for all these bullies out there. So be strong. So that's it for this video. And then we're going to tell you what happened, what I was talking about earlier. So yeah, so peace out.